progress report here. This is our huge five-bedroom, three-bath property. Um, the front home that you're looking at now is a four-bedroom, two-bath, and we still have the opportunity to make it um, a five-bedroom, two-bath because of all this extra square footage in the front in our creaky Halloween door. <laughs> anyway, that's the AC dripping. Okay, so now um, all the tile is in. You can't see it. Maybe in one of the areas you might be able to catch it where the, the floor is not covered. But this was a den that we've uh, enclosed now to add a closet. Um, narrow doorway. Closet, and um, we've drywalled it in. We actually closed off a window here because this was an addition to the front. We'll be bringing in an AC vent. Um, well, this will be changed out, but yeah, it'll, it'll remain the drop-down ceiling. Uh, we'll probably put some insulation in there because it's got a metal roof. Um, but, you know, originally this was a patio. So anyway, that'll uh, serve as a bedroom. And then we come over here, and we've got all this extra space as well. This is um, living room. This whole thing is living room. Formal dining room, a very large kitchen. We've got paint on the walls. We've got the new baseboards in. Um, this is a rental property. Right now we have um, people looking at it to rent it from us for, um, you know, the halfway home type, type thing. I can't remember what it's called. It's not an ALF, but it's something like that. But you probably know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's show you the bedrooms. This is another one of our mini bedrooms. Um, but this is the one that was adjacent to the addition. Uh, you, it's very evident that we closed up the uh, window. And um, we'll have a new fixture in here, new closet doors. Um, we we say, say, uh, salvage the doors that we had in here originally. I like this old look trim. And um, same thing with the bathroom and this other bedroom. So in here, um, we're epo re-epoxing the tub. We'll spray all of the tile uh, white, and we'll put in a new vanity, toilet, light fixture, and mirror. Okay, so we're in that process now. And the tile floor will be changed out in the bathroom, too, uh, before it's over. So now let's take you to show you the master bedroom this way. This is our master. Uh, obviously, it's the construction storage room, too. But it's very large, large rooms, um, big walk-in closet in here. And we've gutted the master bathroom. Um, and so you'll see that in just a second. I like these open ceilings like this, the raw um, look. And our AC is piped in over here. So um, we didn't feel the need to drywall it in you know, to carry the ductwork through. So I think we're going to be good there. Um, in, in the bathroom here, you know, we had to redo the whole shower pan. If you caught the, the last uh, time we were here, this was all open. This opens through to a studio apartment, which I'll take you into next. So everything in here will be new. And that'll be a shower. Okay, so let's go see the unit. Oh, the kitchen, the kitchen. We are in our gutted kitchen. Um, it's a rather large room. But here you get a, um, an idea of what the tile looks like through the entire house. So... You know, it's a good neutral color. And then our kitchen sink goes here. We've um, taken care of new electrical and plumbing behind the wall here. And we're actually putting in a uh, tankless water heater in this area here. Okay? And then when we come outside the back, this is where um, we've changed out the electrical service. Okay? And back over here, we'll take you into the little efficiency. We've got a laundry room in the shed. And it sits on a nice big lot, too. So when you come in here, you'll notice we carried the same floor through. And this is the other side of that master bathroom where we'll put a little kitchenette. Okay, so this is a cute little studio that mother-in-law you love could fit in here. Um, and then we're redoing the bathroom. And this doesn't have the same central air piped into it, so it'll have a wall unit put in uh, the, the wall here. So, but it's got the new baseboards, too. So we're moving along. And um, anyway, I hope you learned something and you like what you see. Please like us on Facebook at palmbeachflippers.com. If you're interested in becoming a client, um, and any, check out what we have for becoming a client at 32srealty.com. And sign up to watch us on Periscope. Sometimes we show up at one of these houses um, that we didn't expect to or we find a problem we didn't expect to, and we love to show that live on Periscope. So um, tune in in any way, shape, or form, and we look forward to working with you.